what I mean. The inner self is not the ego or I. The total body mind or ex experiential self is the ego, the I of me and mine, narcissus. And all suffering is egoity or self-possession, the reflexive drama of narcissus. All unhappiness is bondage to the body-mind. I is the psychophysical urge, the complex destiny of repetitions, the eternal sameness of needs and fears, desires and aversions, expansions and withdrawals, entrances and exits, births and deaths. Truth is the condition prior to the adventure of the ego, prior to self-possession, prior to obsessive association with the body-mind. The way of truth is ecstasy, self-transcendence or transcendence of the experiential body-mind. The practice of ecstasy is a matter of the surrender of the total body-mind via radical insight or intuitive transcendence of all forms of recoil towards self, all forms of the avoidance of relationship, all forms of psychophysical contraction, all forms of experience or differentiated attention. It is a matter of self-abandonment and self-forgetting in the universal field of radiant life energy and transcendental consciousness. It is acceptance of death to the point of ecstasy, unqualified life, the vanishing of all experiential necessities, all subjective implications, all subject-object urges. It is liberation from all forms of psychophysical existence, it is dissolution of the soul, who is both the inner and the outer man. It is translation into the divine condition. It is to swoon in the transition to the transcendental domain of objectless radiance, beyond all the worlds of the body-mind, whether they are high or low in the scale of cosmic experience. It is to be outshined by the divine truth or radiant condition of all the universes and all the selves that play and feed upon one another in the total machine of nature. It is to be rescued through perfect identification with God. It is surrender of self-defense. Therefore, it is the surrender of everything that we mean by a lifetime. It is infinite love. 